information, the deformation in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get the corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. The risk disclosure statement stating all possibilities associated with Forex market by accepting the risk you're also proceeding further with me. And final part explaining that Admiral Markets LTD takes no responsibility for information accuracy. This is my personal analysis and it's no way it's connected to AMAK's opinions. This is my opinion, solely my opinion and Forex is risky business. So this webinar is not for, for signals, it's for informational and educational purposes only. Okay. With having said that, of course, I encourage you to download Admiral Market Supreme Edition by logging into your trader's room. And don't forget, guys, that you're effectively trading with the best MT4 broker, Admiral Markets. So we are proud to be the team, and I'm really happy when I see excellent comments that you are making money and that you are very positive. So I, I really, really love it. So... For all newcomers, uh, our risk disclaimer concerning uh, session recap trades, all session recap trades and analysis is done with Camarilla MACD. You always need to give price a breathing room. So usually you enter within 5 to 15 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. Why 5 to 15? Because, guys, we are using zones. Zones are actually POC uh, zones, zones where we expect price to bounce. When the price enters the zone, we are pulling the trigger. So it's either buy or sell. Use scaling in. If you don't know what scaling in is, well, I have already scheduled a webinar about scaling in, but I will repeat it again. So let's say that we have the zone like, like, like this, and the price is trying to enter the zone. So, for example, you want to enter with 0.3 lots. Once the price hits or it's very, very close to the zone, you can enter with 0 0.10. Then another dip in the zone, another 0 0.10. Another dip in the zone, another 0 0.10. Effectively, you keep your stop loss always the same. You don't move your stop loss, but you are scaling in. By scaling in, you can exponentially raise your profits and you can exponentially down your losses. I will show you on, sesh, on scaling in webinar how scaling in is actually good and uh, you can raise your profits but of course uh, some people prefer to trade one single entry it doesn't matter it's up to you how you want to trade you can trade one single entry you can trade with scaling in but effectively if you use scaling in do not move your stop loss your stop loss should be the same because you don't want to uh, to enter and to, you don't want to scale into a losing loser position. This way, you're effectively scaling in within the zone. And if you if you trade in the zone, you will see it's and you you all know it that is much 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 profitable. Uh, Max is saying that he uh, had some trades from last week. Some are not filled. One is loser. Uh, we didn't have any losing trade, Max. I will show you that after this slide. Uh, time frame doesn't matter because uh, you just... Uh, I usually do my analysis on four hour and one hour time frame. But the point is we, we just want the price to enter within the zone. It, the time frame simply don't matter. Uh, remember, guys, I always say my analysis is Camarilla MACD. Camarilla MACD is not system. It's a method, and it's, it's more complicated, but it's more advanced than uh, systems which are sold over the Internet. So by effectively using the zone, you, you, it just doesn't matter which time frame. You, uh, for example... Uh, if I say that you should uh, buy euro, for example, at 1.0780, it doesn't matter the time frame. We are just waiting for the zone. And the zone is analyzed on either 4-hour or 1-hour time frame. So by using time frames, we are analyzing the zones. When we analyze the zone, we will get the price confluence. When we, when we get price confluence, we get POC. When we get POC, we get price entry. It's that simple. POC is point of confluence, a.k.a. 
entry zone, okay, also known as entry zone. That is why time frame doesn't matter. Time frame simply helps us to define our entry zone. We don't trade time frames. I just put the analysis and I give you the zone. When that zone is hit, bang, you enter, okay? First, and that is always the, the, the same with my analysis, which is published every day on Admiral Markets website. Uh, the question is, how do I know if it's better to use four hour or one hour? Well, uh, I'm the creator of Camarilla MACD, and I have been studying price action for last eight years, 24 hours per day almost, so uh, that is my method. So simply the answer is, it, it's my method, and I know what is best to use on Camarilla MACD, uh, which is definitely a complete price action analysis and trading method. You can read if you're a newcomer. I really advise you to read uh, to read uh, my analysis on Admiral Markets website. Uh, and another question: Where can I find Camarilla MACD? Currently, Camarilla MACD can only be uh, taught by me and by our EliteCurrency.com website. But uh, currently, uh, you need to apply for the course uh, on our website. But it's it's you know it, we currently do not accept any students maybe in the future. Uh, thanks to, of course, Admiral Markets, uh, I am uh, always proud to present uh, session recap webinars and analysis daily. And of course, session recaps are weekly on Admiral Markets website and Admiral Markets uh, webinars. So that is effectively, you are basically trading by, by accepting the entries which are given on a session recap, you're effectively trading Camarilla MACD with me, guys. Uh, position trades, when I say position trades, uh, those are trend trades. Alternative trades are definitely uh, counter trend trades opportunities. Uh, breakout trades and scalp trade levels are done independently. Those serve as a second entry. Depending on time and volatility, usage of guys of trailing stop is highly recommended. Uh, when price is not moving in your direction, when you see that it's hesitate, hesitant to move your direction, then you usually enter after uh, usually uh, manage your trade after 20 pips of a profit, not less. So never uh, below 20 pips of profit, never ever. Because if we do it, it won't be good. So I know that some of you want to close a trade as early as possible, but do not do that. At least 20 pieces of profit or stop loss, not less. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Scalp trade should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels. Uh, these levels are uh, calculated by histor historical levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system. Pay attention to my Twitter updates. Ilya is saying, if I start an account on Twitter, can I follow your updates? Yes. Uh, uh, Twitter is usually very fast way to uh, when I publish something, so actually you can read it immediately. For example, I really encourage you to read my latest blog, uh, Five Myths in Forex Trading. So uh, read, the, uh, if, if you have the time, of course, read the blog. I actually put uh, a video in it. Uh, try for the successful trading, so it's. I think it's it's interesting, so you can check it. It's on Admiral Markets website. Uh, what did I forgot? Forget? I think nothing. We can move on, okay? Uh, session recap results, guys. Euro dollar uh, hundred pips. Uh, pound dollar hundred and fifty pips. Australian dollar. 55 breakout trade. Dollar cat didn't qualify, but the trend was captured. And ODN 50 pips. Total pips pool 355. Uh, trade of the week pound dollar. So guys, this is uh, total pip count number. So I hope that you get at, that you got at least 20, 30. Greg said that he made 150 pips, which is actually great. So he, he managed to uh, grab uh, more like uh, maybe 50% of profit. Uh, uh, guys, can we check? Do you see uh, results? Uh, because Paul is saying uh, that he sees only the first page, 
uh, all is good. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I need to say we have started. Okay, I have confirmation that uh, Paul Querido tried to restart. I don't know, something is wrong with maybe with your computer. All is good. Okay, guys. Yes, Greg is saying 173 plus 65 on euro dollar. Well done. Okay. This is more than 50% of our pips pool, which is excellent, guys. Excellent. Uh, wow. Well done, Greg. I hope that you will, uh, guys, that others will also get, get similar results as Greg. Greg actually made a lot of pips, really, following last recap. So, okay, these are the results, guys. And, <laughs> well, yeah, thank you, Greg. Of course, uh, it's not always like that. Uh, you see, some people just don't understand uh, how uh, these trades are made. But well, I will see. I will show the results. So, guys, what is very important to say? What, what is very important to say? We always trade the first bounce. That is how I trade. That is how. Uh, that is how I teach you to trade. When the price enters the zone, we trade the first bounce. So if I said that euro dollar should be sold at 0.625, once the price enters 5 to 15 pips, you enter the trade. So that is why it's important for you to understand. We trade the first bounce. That is most important thing, the first bounce. Because subsequently the price may be hesitant, especially after it, it has already made its movement, Usually, then it can break out in, in 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 opposite direction. So that is why we trade the first bounce. Okay. So this is the time when the price actually entered the zone. Okay. Here you see, but sometimes it takes time because uh, we cannot move market by ourselves. It takes time for the market to develop, and after a couple of days. The, the market hit our target. So how you manage the trade, it's up to you. But this is how we effectively uh, got a perfect entry on euro dollar, and the target was touched after NFP. So I don't say that you should have. I don't know. You should have. Uh, you should have made all these pips, but at least 20, 30, 50 pips could have been made by euro dollar at least this first swing could be very very profitable pound dollar uh, sell at 5110 was this was the trade of the week this was an excellent setup the the trade was initiated here and look at this bang to the target bang to the target pound dollar the trade of the week definitely the trade of the week then Australian dollar, I said be careful. So for, for all of you who traded the setup, I personally didn't trade Australian dollar, but you could see that basically uh, uh, after the cash rate announcement, we had a breakout at uh, these levels. So this was cash rate announcement, but after that we had a breakout. So that was, that this trade could have been initiated a uh, day after cash rate announcement. So this was a very good setup. We actually had uh, both uh, trigger happy breakout pullback and we had breakout pullback continuation trades here. So you see, breakout trade was very good. Dollar cat trade. We had a buy at 32.80. Unfortunately, we the price didn't pull back. It it did pull back, but only uh, four days after. That is why I say uh, uh, usually uh, the trade is valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. As you can see here, the trade was uh, initiated three days after. So. Uh, I cannot count this as a profitable trade, although it was profitable if you followed, at least if you followed 
your own system, presumably you could have made good pips because you see it, it, it was only one day late. Well, well, it's not bad. And ODN, uh, ODN is also a very, very good trade. Uh, it was uh, 9030 uh, sell position, which was initiated here. And uh, actually, it made 50 pips before it pulled back. So ODN, you could have made also nice pips with ODN. Okay. Uh, so all of these setups were good and max I'm not sure that you follow the trade so all these trades have been all were winners okay so this is what I what I have shown you concerning last week yeah you, you should never change the stop max is saying he has he has changed the stop that is why I say do not euro dollar. Well, don't change the stop. If I say that the stop should be like this, guys, but look at this. The stop was only 45 pips. And look at the trade potential. Don't forget, we do one hour, four hour trades. We cannot do it with 20 pip stop loss. It's very hard to trade candlesticks and price action with 20 pip stop loss i can do that sometimes with harp system with range bars but with actually uh with with price action and and, and candlesticks i never change the stop the only thing how i can change the stop is once the trade goes in my favor i can move stop loss in profit it's called profit stop so let's say that the price has moved here and you just move your stop loss here. So you are effectively trading with profit stop. It's not stop loss. It's called profit stop. Now the plan for today, euro dollar guys, 0.780 to 60 stop loss, 7, 0730 target price, 1.1050. Uh, actually, the best explanation for this analysis, guys, has been found on my uh, on latest. Uh, I, I did it. I did it with uh, Forex Street, but I will show you because I did the chart today also, and actually uh, I can show you the chart and I I have marked the zones, so I will show you right away. Give me a few seconds to find actually to find the chart, and. I will show you. Okay, uh, today is, I think, yeah, this is it. So, guys, this is it for uh, Euro Dollar. So, if Euro Dollar pulls back to either POC or POC2, uh, I will be uh, making a long position. First of all, if you have read the analysis, uh, the analysis. The analysis which I posted on Forex Street uh, on Friday, uh, you could have seen that uh, actually I was hoping for a better pullback after NFP. But the NFP was good, but we still didn't have a full pullback. Although the price is moving to the upside now, but uh, I would like to see a POC at least 0.780 to 60. So if it gets there, I will initiate it by position. We also have POC2, so the price may pull back because you see the range of these candles. The range is very big. You see here and there, this is big range, and it's always after strong NFP. So we have very strong NFP, and uh, I really want to have uh, even better pullback. So I'm not saying that the price has not already started to move upside. If the move starts to, if the if the if euro dollar starts to move upside, then I'm paying attention to uh, Friday's highs and 1.1050, definitely. However, if we see a drop in the price, if we see a pullback, POC, Adif is asking what does POC stand for? It's point of confluence, it's entry zone. 
Okay. So uh, ATIF it's entry zone actually. Okay. That is POC. Point of confluence or I call it an entry zone. Uh, <laughs> Max is saying Euro dollar are 14 p.m. at your entry. This is not entry. This is just a prediction where price could go. We didn't have any pullback towards this zone or this zone. If the price gets a pullback within the zone, then we should buy. So, Max, we didn't have any buy position. This is just the zone. So, if the price gets here or there, we can initiate our buy position. We have a good confluence here with POC and POC2, even with EMA89 here. So, actually, it's above H3, so it's bullish. And that is why I'm bullish on Euro dollar midterm, okay? At least this week. So guys, this is buy position, but pay attention also to 0720 to 00, 00, okay? Pay attention to that if we get any pullback. So if we get a gradual grind towards this zone, it would be good. If we don't get any gradual grind, if the price starts to go directly, a direct drop towards POC, then it's probably better to wait for POC2 zone. Uh, well, how do I have calculation? D D Dines is asking. That is my Camarilla MACD method, and that is how I do the analysis. Of course, I cannot. Uh, th that is my method, so it's it's not free, and definitely it has to do with Camarilla MACD only. Okay, so I'm just. I can just say that. I use confluence points with all known chart patterns and pivot points, which are Camarilla pivot points. So these are confluence zones, not strictly Fibonacci ratios. Everything is making a confluence. Pivot points, EMA lines, trend lines, historical price action, and so on. It's not an easy job, guys, to be an analyst, believe me. Uh, alternative sell, uh, 10, 50, uh, and uh, 1080 stop loss, uh, 0980 is target only if we get if we get uh, the price hit 1050 first. So if we see that price hits 1050, uh, it's H5 actually weekly Camarilla point. So this could be good for initial sell towards 0980. Okay. So we want to see uh, a hit. A touch of 1050 zone, then we could try to initiate a sell position. The first touch of 1050 will probably be will probably be most fruitful because this is a weekly pivot point. Okay, weekly pivot point. Uh, Aiton is asking when you will make Camarilla webinar. I had Camarilla webinars, but Camarilla MACD webinar, uh, I cannot make it. The only thing I can tell you is visit and try to visit a price section training school because by attending price section training school, you are effectively learning a lot from Camarilla MACD. Uh, price section training school is practical naked trading school and method which I also traded uh, some years ago before Camarilla MACD was founded. But uh, in price section trading school, I will teach you a complete pra practical naked trading with some Camarilla MACD, with some Camarilla MACD stuff, but not complete Camarilla MACD because it's, of course, reserved uh, for myself and the analysis I do. Okay, but practical naked trading is a very, very good way to trade the price, and actually that is what we do on pr pr a price section trading school. Okay, so visit it and you will be fine after we finish with the school. But it will take some time. Okay, so this is for Euro dollar, guys. Now let's see pound dollar. I would love to sell at 51.40 with stop loss at 51.70 with target 50.60. However, if the price gets to 49.60, I will buy it. So buy is 49.60, 49.20 stop loss, 51.40 target price. So this is sell position. This is actually buy position. Uh, 
and uh, actually uh, I don't have a pound dollar chart something messed up uh, with my chart on pound dollar but I will uh, I will try to show you maybe uh, tomorrow if I do again a pound dollar reassessment but this is what I'm looking for ex uh, currently uh, Australian dollar is, uh, and don't worry, I will roll these slides again once I'm finished uh, with the slides. And uh, now Australian dollar, which is also, uh, which has been producing good results lately. Uh, we have, uh, Australian dollar, we have 72.20 buy, 71.80 is stop loss, 72.90, okay, is target. Uh, 73.30, 73.60, 72.80. Now, this is Australian dollar chart, uh, and Australian dollar chart is actually, uh, this is price section chart. Yes, the slide is frozen. Uh, I'm trying to, I have some problems with, with uh, this MT4. I will definitely need to reinstall this, and uh, I've, uh, fortunately enough, this is now showing correctly. Uh, Australian dollar guys as I say 7250 look at this this is uptrend right but look what I do you see the pattern which I don't like to see do you see any pattern here which is not good on Australian dollar tell me now let's see who will be the fastest on finger on fingers law is saying megaphone Ilya is saying jigsaw <laughs> jigsaw it's a movie jigsaw right <laughs> Atif is saying false breakout, channel down. Well, low was the fastest and the most accurate. Guys, uh, we are seeing megaphone pattern. Watch this. A broadening top. I don't like this. Really, I don't like this. Look at this. Up, down, up, down, and watch this. It's, it's really a broadening top, a megaphone. We can try to go 70 to 20. For example, if we go with Fibonacci, simple Fibonacci retracement here, uh, we can actually see that 70 to 30 is uh, 61.8. But if we put a line here at preview swing here and there, you can see that uh, effectively... 72.20 to 72.30 is the zone. We have some price action here, historical buyers here and there with a retest. So that is why I'm hoping that historically Australian dollar will give us a buy at 72.20. But uh, yes, megaphone is nasty, so we don't see any. The only thing which is good with this pattern is, look at this. It's actually a, a cross of down, down, uh, uh, I guess a support line of megaphone pattern and 7220 is actually making a cross. So this is confluence here. You see, we have a confluence. So this cross could be a confluence for another bounce. Okay. So this is a possible bounce. We have previous buyers here, buyers there, 61.8 and support line of megaphone which is actually thrusting through 7220 confluence and 61.8 and this is where we could see a bounce so this is market plan for Australian dollar and of course if you get a sell at 7330 I will be looking to sell with stop loss at 7360 Target is 72.80. So 73.30, another range here. Important range before this. We can say a false breakout. It was not a false. We made some pips on this breakout. But because we see megaphone, this could go in both directions. So I would be looking to sell here. I would be looking to buy here. Whichever hits first. So we will be trading whichever hits first. From current price section, I think we could first initiate a buy position. That should come first, but let's see. Dollar cat, of course, buy. 
Dorcad, same analysis as I did today in Admiral Markets. 33.70 buy, 33.10 stop loss, 35.50 target. Possible long retest, 34.30 buy, 35.00 is uh, definitely uh, the target. And dollar cad is, do you remember the analysis, guys, today? Uh, when I posted the analysis, you could have made breakout trade. So this is the analysis. Dollar cad proceeds with uptrend. This was the analysis after the analysis. Price went up, then hit H4 and went up again. So if you traded after I published the analysis, you could have made a good breakout entry at 34.30 because the price went to our target. I would not sell. I don't know if it will go down. The only thing which I certainly know is I would buy if it goes down. Kuram is saying pound dollar market plan. Yes, I will give you market plan for pound dollar. But uh, first, let's go through this presentation and then you can ask me questions if you want any other pairs to look at. So this is, you see, dollar cad. Uptrend here, uptrend there, above H3, above daily pivot, EMA 89. This is POC. So if the price pulls back here, I would be looking to buy. If the price gets a retest of 34, 30 zone, we could see a probable buy again. Okay, so this is the plan. We could see another drop towards 34.30 and then another look for break uh, for uh, pullback retest if it happens. Well, Michael, if dollar cat shows divergence, that's good because it will drop the price, it will tank the price down and we could buy on dips. Dollar cat is rising not only because of new president, it's only it's all it's all uh, also because of OPEC and the oil. You can find a lot of info about OPEC and the oil uh, across the internet, so Google for it, guys. Pound yen, uh, okay, this is pound yen, not GBP. Okay, no, not all yen, it's GBP yen. So GBP yen is in downtrend. Effectively, this was my mistake. I will, I will correct it. So pound yen is in uptrend. Okay, I will correct this after the webinar. Pound yen is in uptrend, uh, and uptrend is definitely shown here. Okay, guys, this is uptrend. Uh, currently, I don't do gold analysis, Dennis. Maybe in the future. Only forex currency pairs, not gold at this point. In the future, I have some plans for the gold, but not at this point. I wouldn't like to tell you because I, uh, I really, I really need first to get into gold to see how it behaves with my Camarilla MACD. Only then I can tell you about the gold. Uh, pound yen, guys, uh, very clear. Do you see the pattern here on pound yen? Do you see the pattern here on pound yen, guys? Okay, let me test you again. Pound yen, which pattern is this? No, it's not scallop. Yes, it's inverted head and shoulders, indeed. Inverted head and shoulders, some call it inverted shampoo. Uh, we traders uh, frequently made some... Uh, <laughs> this was basically, we were kidding with, with uh, that pattern. Uh, and on my spider's den thread on Forex Factory, we use the term shampoo and inverted shampoo, head and shoulders, because it's a brand. It's a shampoo brand, right? So we call it a shampoo. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. So, yes, this is inverted head and shoulders, indeed. Uh, and clear uptrend after a neckline break here. Bang, you can see. You can see a clear tr a trend line here, guys, which was broken, retested here. And uh, this level was also very, very important here. Okay, not this, this one. See how the price reacts. 
So I will be looking for a pullback. This pair is in uptrend. It's pulling back at this point, and the pullback would give us 185.20 buy, 184.85 stop loss, 187 potential target. Look how strong is uptrend on pound yen. Very strong uptrend, guys. And look at this. We have a confluence where? At the bottom of the right shoulder. The bottom of right shoulder is giving us a confluence. Previous buyers, you can see weeks. It's previous buyers. 50 retracement. This is double bottom, triple bottom. Previous order block, bullish, bearish order block. Buy retest, double bottom. Look how price reacts. So 185.20 buy zone. Zone for buying the pair. Let's see if we will get it. Now I will roll these slides again so you can ask me. So uh, Dennis, don't ask me about gold at this point. In the future, when I'm ready to analyze gold, I will tell you. Uh, dollar cat, if you're only in the trade, I will show you. Let's roll the slides. Apostolos is asking for dollar yen. Ilya or yen, okay. So euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar. Dollar cat. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks for patience. Dollar cat. Pound yen. Okay, we go to dollar cat now. The target for dollar cat. If you are in the trade, if you go to monthly chart, you will see that it's already broken through previous month re monthly resistance, and now it's trying to go towards this spot here. So 37 could be the target, but it's on monthly, okay? On monthly. If you are already in the trade. This is ascending scallop, guys. This is ascending scallop pattern here. And this has even more room to go up. Even more room to go up. Towards 40, 0, 0 and upward. Look, ascending scallop on monthly. Very strong uptrend. Weekly, very strong uptrend. Daily, very strong uptrend. Four hour, very strong uptrend. So let's see if one hour will give us needed retracement for entry. ODN. This is now, it looks bearish because Australian dollar is also bearish and correlation between Australian dollar and ODN is uh, positive, so they are moving uh, in uh, almost in same direction. So uh, this is bearish, and you should sell the dips. You, you Sorry, you should sell the rallies. Sell the rallies. I cannot give you where, uh, because the price is still dropping. So I need to see a start of retracement to, feel, to put Fibonacci and uh, predict where the price could go. But from these points, I'm looking at 78.80 because it was a previous swing. And eventually, this one here, it has a lot of confluence. Sellers here, sellers there, ex-buyers, now moment sellers. So, so the, the, you should sell on, on, on rallies, definitely, or the end. Caesar is asking for pound uh, Australian dollar. This looks bullish, V-shaped reversal, then price continued to push up after intraday is bullish, but uh, intraweek is bearish. At this point, you should focus where to sell. If the price pulled back around this zone here, 
I would be looking to sell. It's 78.6. Now the price is in uptrend, but if you see, if you watch four hour, you can see that it's still downtrend. So zoom in and use multiple time frame analysis. So this could be your spot to enter a sell. New Zealand dollar. Watch for a possible breakout of the. This is master candle, guys. Okay, this is master candle here. So watch for breakout of this candle. If it breaks to the downside, watch out for a retest of this zone here. 66.13 to 66.05 if it breaks this level. This could be a breakout to the downside. Greg is saying, gotta go. Thanks for today as always. Thank you, Greg. You're very welcome. Dennis is asking about uh, Swissy. I don't follow Swissy now at this point, so I'm not in, really interested to follow Swissy. Uh, you have other markets which are less manipulated than Swissy. Swissy, it has been frequently intervened on, so I'm not following Swissy at this point. Uh, Euro Audi, yes, Euro Audi. Very strong, very strong uptrend on Euro Audi. So when the, we see a retracement, you should pull Fibonacci from this point on. Because this was the first swing. That first swing was finished here. This was the second swing. So once Euro Audi starts a retracement, pull your Fibonacci at this point to uh, the current high, and then you will see where it can where it can uh, retrace to. But wait after uh, you see a good retracement on Euro Audi. Okay, guys. Four hour uh, on uh, New Zealand dollar is uptrend, but guys, if this level breaks, uh, this one, if it breaks, it could go down because you see the history. It, ha it had a lot of buyers here. So 33 and 13 is empty. Usually the price would break the level and proceed down. So it could be a breakout trade, but yes, New Zealand dollar is in uptrend on, on four hour. But still, look at this candle. If it breaks here, it could go down. If it, if it gets here, it will be a complete retracement, guys. If it breaks it lower, then eventually you can buy for a, for a, on a pullback. But at least here, I would not go at around 78.6. Let's see if we get another confluence. Not a big confluence, though, but watch out for this level. Not a big confluence. The better confluence we can find at 88.6, which has an X cross here. So 64.50 could be a buy. Yes, interest rate decision. Let's see. We will see. So that is why I don't um, make any intra-week recommendations towards uh, New Zealand dollar. We need to see what will happen with the rate cut. Okay, so this is New Zealand. If it breaks the level, we can go down, take profit here. If it breaks this, then try to grab it as a long entry here. Okay, guys, I will roll the slides again. So Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Australian dollar, Dollar CAD, pound yen. Another question, uh, GBP CAD and dollar yen, okay. It's same, a very nasty price action. I don't like how it moves. Effectively, uh, it's a range. It's a range, a big range here. So it's very close to break the range. It broke, or it already broke the range. So what I would do, I would zoom into one hour time frame and I would uh, even lower 15 maybe and watch for a retest of this pattern here. Continuation. 
So it's uptrend. Aiton is asking if the rate is cut, why euro raised? Uh, uh, deposit rate has been cut, not the refinancial ref refinancing uh, uh, rate. So refi rate uh, was uh, uh, cut, was the same, but deposit rate was cut. So you have a little bit of economics to know about that one. So uh, it was not a rate cut. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. So bid rate stay the same, refi rate, but depot rate was cut by 10, uh, 10 basis points. Okay. Okay, let's get back to the charts. GBP CAD, yes, this is GBP CAD buy. So I would be looking for a 2.0360 retest and initiate a buy position. Probably, because this is strong uptrend. Dollar yen. Same guys, four hour is making a range. Not very interesting to look at. Buy uh, here, sell there. Okay, it's, it's just a, a sideways movement. So we don't, I don't think that dollar yen is very, very good to trade at this point. So guys, do you have any other questions? Uh, Yonat is uh, asking for another uh, roll the slides. Okay, guys, I will roll the slides once more. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you don't have any questions, we can assume that webinar is over. So, euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, dollar cat. And pound yen. Okay. Okay, guys, let me see the comments here. Okay, so this is what I had for you this week. I hope that we will have a lot of pips again and that we will make a lot of money indeed. Okay, let's see if any question left. Dollar cat now short. I didn't say dollar cat short, guys. Really, I didn't say anything about dollar cat short. It goes up. I wouldn't short it. I said buy dollar cat, not short. When did I say short? I haven't said it, so this is a buy here and a possible retest here. Okay, Euro Yen, the last, the last uh, analysis for this. It is also a buy position, so I would uh, go with a bigger retracement here for a buy. So let's say around this level here see historical buyers then now moment sellers so 50 retracement 132.30 okay and if I traded 34 30 I would go with 20 30 pip stop loss only that because that is a breakout trade okay okay guys uh, Milan is asking for Euro GBP. Okay, Euro GBP. Nothing special on Euro GBP, but I see uh, buy. So this is buy position definitely, and 
same looking for a pullback to buy a good pullback could be how oh, we need a bit of pullback this could be the region here but definitely euro gdp is a buy it goes up and it should proceed to go up yes thank you guys okay this is everything for you today thank you i hope that we will have a, a, another good week as we had uh, previous week and uh last couple of months but previous week was the winner i hope that we will make some pips of course stay tuned to my analysis guys do not forget uh, to follow me on twitter and to follow Admiral Markets and don't forget to read the blog if you haven't done it already. Okay, my last blog is five trading myths you don't need to lose sleep over. Put your comments here. I have also included a video. Okay, so thank you. I wish you a happy week and many green pips. Cheers, everyone, and trade safe.